Well, good afternoon everyone and welcome back to another little Tenerife news update. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I am Andrew. I do live here in Los Cristianos in Tenerife. I uh, have done for about eight years now. If you're returning, welcome back. Uh, hopefully this little update will help you out with what is going on uh, in Tenerife at the moment. A lot of people heading over for the summer, uh, summer holidays. So I'm going to do my best to constantly keep you updated as best as I can. There's a few little things to run through uh, since our last update. Uh, one thing I want to mention was in the last update, people said, you know, you know, you've been a little bit negative and you know, you're a bit, a bit anxious. I'm always going to try and give it to you as straight as I can. It's not to put you off coming to Tenerife. It's just to warn you and try and make sure that you have the best time when you do come over to look out for the various little things that might go on or things that might affect your holiday. So I will always give it to you straight, basically. The good, the bad, uh, the slightly ugly. Lately, a lot of it has been slightly negative. Um, a lot of the articles, a lot of the news coming out. Uh, but hopefully I'm going to be able to give you a little bit of a mix of the two. And hopefully it does help you out if you are on the way over. Uh, so let's jump right into it. So I'm going to start off with the COVID rates, which have gone up. They're going up in the UK as well. They seem to be going up all over Europe. Uh, Gran Canaria is now at alert level three uh, for the coronavirus and La Palma has increased to two. Now remember, as I said in our last updates, these levels uh, are not restrictions. They're just an indicator of how uh, much coronavirus is going around from their various measures. Here they're measuring it by ICU beds, um, over 60s, various different aspects that they're measuring and it's just an indicator it doesn't mean anything these levels at the moment and so we are seeing a slight increase bound to happen with all the various concerts festivals going on summer holidays the beaches are busy the promenades busy personally I don't know anyone over here who's got it at the moment or who's contracted it I've not met or heard anyone who's been on holiday in court over here um, but judging by these figures and these articles it is still increasing slightly uh, there is calls to bring back restrictions uh, there is a virologist who has asked the government to reinstate some of the restrictive measures however they haven't actually followed through with any of those um, some calls for it some are playing saying definitely not I know there's calls for it back in the UK as well whether you're against it for it uh, that is uh, what is happening at the moment but there's no changes there is no restrictions back in place uh, the only thing that you have to do is wear uh, a mask in taxis and buses uh, i have seen a few taxis being pulled over with passengers inside uh, that haven't got masks on so the police are doing checks so make sure you do bring a few masks with you if you plan on using the buses uh, or if you've got a bus transfer from the airport uh, you will have to put one on in those uh, transportations your trains buses etc um, but through the airport you haven't got to wear them so uh, that is our first little bit to run through uh, next is that uh, Spain has extended entry restrictions for another two months for the UK uh, they have posted it in at the BOE uh, that it uh, is dated until the 15th of July the entry restrictions due to COVID have been extended for travelers from third countries which includes the UK for another two months until the 15th of July uh, that means that the current requirements to come to the Canary Islands are still in place for anyone aged over 12. Uh, they are as follows, proof of vaccination uh, after 14 days and within 270 days of your second jab. Uh, there is no time limit on the booster. Uh, a lot of people do message me and ask, oh, I've had my booster but it was over 270 days ago. Once you've had a third jab, there is no time limit on that. Uh, you are absolutely fine. That's all you'll need to show at the airport is your COVID vaccination uh, pass, either on your phone or printed off. Um, uh, valid recovery certificate after 14 days and within 180 days of testing negative. That's got to be an official recovery certificate with the date you tested positive, date you tested negative, your name, everything like that. Uh, you can also enter with a negative test result if you're not vaccinated uh, within 72 hours if you're traveling with a PCR test or within 24 hours if it's an antigen test. Loads of questions. Can I just use my free NHS one, my little free home kit? No, it's got to be a fit to fly test. It's got to be a private test and you email your results. Again, it'll have your name on, uh, the date, your negative result. You can't just use the little free one at home. 
it's got to be a fit to fly test uh, for the antigen they're about 20 pounds or so you can find them online quite cheap uh, under 12s there are no requirements at all uh, the locator form <clears throat> is not necessary if you're using the nhs covid pass to come in if you're using your your certificate for vaccination you haven't got to show uh, the locator form but it must be completed um, if you're not using that pass if you're coming in with an antigen test or a negative test or a recovery certificate you've got to fill in the locator form i will leave all of that information in the description uh, including this article here from the canarian weekly you can have a read through uh, if you want to just double check uh, through all those so hopefully that does clear it up uh, and as i said no masks on uh, most of the flights no masks in the airport uh, but you do have to wear them when you get through if you're going to get a taxi or a bus now the next little thing is staying on the same topic and that is brits face new rules in spain if they test positive for covid while on holiday tighter rules have been announced for tourists arriving in or holidaying in spain who develop symptoms or test positive for covid uh, as tourist resorts face uh, a new upswing in virus infections according to the new rules which are published on the government uk website again i'll link those down below uh, tourists who get covid or start developing symptoms while in spain uh, must wear a face mask uh, reduced social interactions and avoid crowded places and events for 10 days uh, nothing too horrendous uh, there is no self-isolation or anything like that uh, just if you start to feel it or you do pass test positive they'd like you to wear a mask try and avoid you know enclosed spaces going out for meals with friends things like that uh, but nothing too bad nothing too drastic uh, with that one so i'm going to move on from all of that now people will probably see that as a bit of negative news i'm going to move on from all of that i hope that does help and we're going to go into some of the positive articles that have come out this week uh, that is uh, one here, Formula One star uh, is coming to Tenerife to officially launch the race track project. We are having an F1 uh, practice race track built here in Tenerife. And uh, Carlos Sainz, I think that's how you say it, uh, is making the presentation at the Tenerife Auditorium in Santa Cruz uh, coming up this week. Uh, so that is all good. That's all going ahead. It was on and in and a lot of people said it wouldn't happen. It wouldn't be built. And it looks like it is going ahead. That's going to be great for the island. It is not going to be a pro on the circuit of races, it's going to be more of a practice track. Uh, they'll come, maybe test out some of the cars, they're developing, different things like that. But it will still be good for the island, we're going to see uh, all kinds of different arrivals, tourists, professionals coming here. Uh, it's all good news. Uh, the next up, if you're into uh, going self-catering when you come over on holiday to Tenerife, there's going to be another discount supermarket, uh, which will interest a lot of you, and that is Aldi. Uh, it does continue opening its new stores. Uh, they've opened one uh, over in the north, and we will see two of them opening very soon in the south. One of those is in Adeki, and the other one is in Las Chafiris. Uh, they're going up at the rate of knots. They are flying up, and in a few months they will open, and you'll have the option of shopping in Aldi, Lidl, You've got Iceland, various different cheaper supermarkets if you're a resident here as well. Uh, hopefully Aldi is going to offer something different. We will go in, we'll film a video, we'll see if it's any different to the, the Lidl that we have over here. I'm not a massive fan of Lidl here especially, a lot of it is all the German products. It's not, it's not like it is in the UK, but we'll see if Aldi is any different. Uh, I've heard good things, a lot of the residents are enjoying it. Hopefully we'll bring uh, some cheaper products uh, to the island as well. Uh, next bit of good news is for Gran Canaria. They're struggling with COVID a bit at the moment, uh, but it does uh, take its first step to being a venue for the 2030 World Cup. They are making a little bit of a bid. Uh, the official presentation to the Spanish Football Federation uh, regarding plans for the stadium took place yesterday. They've got to make a few changes, I think, to the stadium to make it worthy and fit the criteria for the World Cup. Uh, but it's all good news. 2030 would be fantastic if it came. Be amazing for Gran Canaria if it happened. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments about that. Do you think that stadium is, is good enough to host a few World Cup matches? Uh, the plans look promising, but we'll see. Hopefully, you never know. Uh, the other great news is, of course, the weather. It's been blisteringly hot, stunning. I know in the UK it's been the same, but if you're here at the moment, everyone's been enjoying the beaches, full sunshine, blue skies. Uh, lovely clear waters it's a little bit a little bit wavy today but it has been very calm the last few days uh, we've had a super moon at night time 
uh, which has been amazing to see. We've had clear skies at night. So if you are on the way over, the weather has been absolutely fantastic. A lot of people are still getting burned, so do layer up on the sun cream. Do bring a hat. It's very easy to burn. I've been out a few times, plastered on the 50, second layer of 30, and I've still burnt. It's very, very strong. But great news for weather-wise, if you're a sun seeker, you want to go to the beach, Siam Park, all of those, uh, great weather for it. And at Siam Park, I'll quickly mention, if you plan on going there, which a lot of you are, it is mad busy. Uh, they're letting people in about half nine, 20 to 10. The park doesn't open until 10, but they're letting people go in and get their seats on the sunbeds and get their lockers and then the slides open at 10. So what I would recommend is get to the gates for half nine, try and get your tickets in advance. You can get them on the website very easily. Uh, that'll be a separate queue for pre-bought tickets, which moves a little bit faster that line. If you do want to get fast passes, which I would recommend because the lines are about an hour or so long, um, they are selling out by about half 10, 11. So if you want fast passes, you've got to buy them in the park once you're inside, not at the ticket desks. They're in the shops inside the park. I think there's two shops that sell them. If you want them, go and buy the wristband early because by about 11 o'clock, they're all sold out and it is busy in there at the moment. Or if you want to avoid all that, go and do Siam Nights. It's very quiet. I went and filmed it. It was dead. Uh, you could walk on all the rides and a few people who've been this week and last weekend said it was the same lovely and quiet got on everything they wanted to do with the added bonus of no sunburn other excursions car hire all of those are filling up so if you're going to do any of those this summer july august get them booked in advance the boat ships going past are full to the rafters the jet skis the parasailing it's all very busy uh, a few of the things I did with Dad, uh, we had to book for like in a few days time because they didn't have availability. So anything you're planning on doing, if you can, try and book it in advance. You will find it does help. There's a lot of people here last minute trying to book things and they've been a little bit disappointed. So anything you want to do, get it booked. Same goes for restaurants as well. Some of the popular ones, you can't get a table for a week or so. Uh, we did the teppanyaki at Taipan this week and we had to book the week before to get a table for last week. It was a week until we could get a table uh, on the teppanyaki. So anything you want to do, book it in advance. If I've missed anything important, do let me know in the comments. Again, always be aware, pickpockets are out and about, um, cars getting robbed, all of that. The usual stuff that happens every single year is going on again. Um, so do be careful when you're out and about. It's happening everywhere, but it always happens here because so many tourists, they all switch into holiday mode and you know, it's easy picking. So do be careful with all your expensive items, your wallets, just look out, there is pickpockets around and uh, look after yourselves. Overall, have an amazing time. Uh, hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy the update, if you did find it helpful. Uh, if you did, make sure you subscribe as well. There is loads of videos on the channel and plenty coming up as well. Some good fun stuff uh, with my mum and dad who've just gone home. Uh, on their journey home, again, uh, just to mention, uh, check in, they got there two hours, 20 minutes before, and it took 45 minutes to drop the bag off. So the airport is a little bit busy. Get there with plenty of time. If you've got to check in your luggage, uh, they waited 45 minutes to drop the bag off with Ryanair, which didn't leave them with much time on the other side to you know, grab a drink, etc. So get to the airport with plenty of time. Uh, thank you very much for watching, stride on, and I will see you next week with uh, hopefully more good news.